Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Dr. Mike Roussel, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I want my audience to know that Dr. Mike Roussel, he's a renowned nutritionist consultant and he's an author. And he's here to talk about the pistachio nut. Who knew it had so much power? Dr. Mike, give us some insider information on the pistachio nut. Can hardly say it. So we've known for a while now that pistachios are good for your heart, but there's new research that came out that shows that pistachios are a complete protein for individuals five years and older. And this is really interesting information because it shows that pistachios contain all nine essential amino acids. Now, amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and your body can make some of them, but others it needs to get in your diet, and those are considered essential. So pistachios, as a plant source, contain all those, which is a really unique. Pistachios, you said unique, is a complete protein. There's not a lot of things that fit into that category, if I'm correct, of a complete protein. That's correct? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. So the other plant complete sources of plant protein are generally tofu and quinoa. Quinoa is like kind of a, a grain like rice. But pistachios, so they join the kind of a, a rare category there. And they're also unique in that they don't need to, any preparation and they don't need to be refrigerated. So they're very portable from a plant protein perspective. Otherwise, you know, traditional complete proteins would be meats, fish, dairy, poultry, eggs. And now pistachios fall into that category as a complete protein source. Well, this is exciting for all of us, but probably exciting for vegetarians also, too. Oh, definitely. So, you know, one of the biggest struggles, you know, with, with people following vegetarian or vegan diets, and especially if I'm, you know, nutritionally trying to help and, 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 and coach someone along, is getting plant-based sources of protein. So this is now a great option and alternative for people following a vegetarian or vegan diet, or really anyone who just wants a plant-based tasty snack that's also a good source of protein. Are they also a good cholesterol-free uh, source of fiber? Yeah, so because they grow on trees, uh, pistachios are cholesterol-free, and they contain fiber, which is good for digestive health and also heart health. That's right. We're always the, trying to get enough fiber or take a supplement or something like that. Can we talk to our doctor and now ask him, can we just add pistachios to our, our, our diet? Yeah, fiber is something that is always lacking from people's diets. And, you know, just eating too many refined foods and, and overly processed foods that strip out the fiber make fiber something that's really missing. So pistachios contain fiber, which is great. They contain a complete plant-based protein, which is very unique. Um, the American Heart Association has also certified pistachios as heart healthy. And research shows that they may help lower cholesterol levels and maintain blood pressure and blood sugar. So it's really a great overall healthy food. The American uh, Pistachio Growers wanted us to know this information. Do, and I know you're not a chef, but, you know, how do we integrate this into our diet other than just eating pistachios, you know, raw, I mean, um, roasted or something like that? Can we put them on the top of our yeah. food or something like that? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So I'm not a chef. I play one in my kitchen on a daily basis for my family, but <laughs> so um, do I. <laughs> you know, I generally, <laughs> yeah, I generally would snack on them, or we incorporate them in protein bars or in trail mixes. Um, you can use them in yogurt or as, on top of salads. At AmericanPistachios.org, there are a ton of great recipes and ideas created by people who are actual chefs, not ones that just play them on, you know, for their families. So that's definitely a great resource for people looking to find other creative ways to incorporate pistachios in their diet. But that's a great idea. Uh, I can see that on my morning yogurt in different ways, like you said, on top of a salad. Uh, I had never really thought about that. I eat them as a snack, but I had never thought about mm -hmm. them like that. So, doctor, thank you so very much. Once again, where can my audience go online and find more information? So you go to AmericanPistachios.org. And I know you write the column in Men's Health Magazine because we follow you. You're a good doctor. We like you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. My guest today has been Dr. Mike Roussel. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Have a good one. Hi, I'm Valder BB. 
I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>